guys and warm welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, my name is Grace if you're new here and this is the Rusty Thicket where we talk about all kinds of Goblin Core stuff. Mostly art but also decor, whatever we can get our hands on. So uh, the first couple things I wanted to talk about today is one, I did miss Monday's video. Sorry about that. But my husband is off of work and when he's off, I'm off. So we tend to try and, you know, get some housework and little projects that we've got on the back burner working instead of, you know, the day to day stuff. So um, I wanted to catch you up on a couple of things. First things first, there is going to be another giveaway. We have over 100 subscribers and I'm growing every day and it's just incredible. And I really wanted to make sure that you guys know how much I appreciate you. So we're gonna do this giveaway. Um, my next one won't be for a little while, but 100 was like one of my bigger goals. My next one is 500. I really wanna hit that goal because that gives me the community tab or whatever where I can actually talk with you guys and give you updates that way, especially for things like when I miss, um, you know, posting a video for any reason. So is anybody else like this? Um, oh, hey, say hi to my new shelf where it's gonna hold all of my cute little critters until I've decided to part with them. But yeah, everything is an absolute wreck right now. I really wanted to clean up before I made this video, but honestly, this is just how life is sometimes. Um, I'm typically a really clean, organized person, but sometimes when my creative juices are flowing, I just have a really hard time putting everything back the way that, you know, I would really like for it to be stored. So, um, anyway, this is going to be the 100 subscriber basket. Um, we're actually going to do one of these here in just a minute so I can show everybody what they are, but basically you dig for a little gemstone, which I think is very Goblin Core, very cute. Uh, I'm also including an unopened Goshapon for this giveaway. I'm not gonna show you anything else. I want it to be a surprise. A little keychain, a painting of mine, of course, some Japanese candies, little mushrooms, and uh, gummy sour turtles. Super cute basket like the one I had last time. And then I'm gonna add a couple of extra little goodies for, um, you know, a surprise element, things I don't want you guys to just know everything that's in here, you know, some bookmarks and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is for the 100 subscriber. Because I do not have the community tab and I don't have a way of talking with you personally, um, make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram because that is where we can private message each other for addresses and things like that. I don't know of any other way to do it right now. Um, I just happen to have been lucky with the fewer subscribers before, but that they were mostly friends, family, and people that already followed me on social media, and I could do that. So I will do the drawing next video, so next week's Monday. Um, if your name is called, make sure you're following me on Instagram and hit me up, and we will make sure you get your little basket. Okay, so on that same note uh, about the subscribers and everything like that, um, I am having a really great time trying to nail down some upcoming things. I know I haven't done a whole lot of art lately. I'm really trying to get a feel for where I'm at in Japan, like where my niche is. I'm hitting as many markets as I can. Some of them just aren't really what I'm looking for, but also some of them are completely full and booked already. Things that I need to get on the rosters now for when they happen next year, which is what I'm working on. Um, I do have the August event canceled for the Community Activity Center. So um, the month of August, I don't really have anything happening, but that's not gonna stop me because I did find out I should be going to Tinseltown, which is this base's large Christmas like extravaganza thing and I definitely don't have enough merchandise for that so I will be kind of busting my booty trying to get as many watercolors and paintings and things like that done in the meantime because if they don't sell September, October, November I will have plenty to put up for sale in December. Speaking of October I also have a little event that I don't have much information on yet, but it's actually through the arts and crafts department. And that's terribly exciting because that should mean, you know, not a whole lot of MLM 
and non-handmade type stuff, which I, th those things have their place for sure. But when it's an arts and crafts event, I meet more people that are doing the things that I'm doing and that helps me when it comes to marketing and socializing, you know, for, for this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I wanted to also let you guys know, I don't know if I should actually tell you, but I think I'm going to, I am planning on doing Vlogmas. Now I know that that is way in the future and definitely take this with a semi large grain of salt because honestly, I feel like maybe if I say it, it won't happen, you know, that kind of thing. But I really want to do it. I have 30, 40 ideas for 25 days. And I know that I run into moments where, you know, I don't get a video out on Monday, but vlog misses every day. But I'm really excited about everything that we're gonna do. And I wanna show you guys a couple of things I have uh, ready, at least for that part of this channel. Um, I've been thinking about Vlogmas since I started YouTube because I really have some great Christmas themed, Yule themed ideas that, you know, I want to make sure I get them out there. So uh, we're going to start with a couple of the things that I thrifted. Uh, yesterday they were doing a July, a Christmas in July thing at our local thrift store here on base. And I got some great stuff, some things on my list, which is always the best kind of thrifting that you can do is if you're already looking for it. So. Uh, we'll start out with the first thing that I wasn't looking for. Um, a cute little, not really a crop top, it's just kind of a, like a flowy, but shorter tank top situation. I don't know if you can see it. Really cute, super pretty rust color that I'm looking for a lot in my wardrobe these days. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that but uh, some embroidery, I'll put in another video or maybe a picture um, of what that looks like up close, but I guess embroidery is finally kind of coming back. Like uh, it was really popular in the 90s and I love that handmade element. It's not exactly goblin core, like the, the colors and the flowers, but I think it's kind of cottage core, which we've talked about before, kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I also got these frames, just a really basic white one that I might actually paint. I'm kind of thinking about doing this one like uh, like a red capped mushroom, like paint it red with white dots on it. We'll see, it was from the thrift store, 25 cents. Uh, this one was 50 cents, but I've been really into this green and gold and I love the detail on this frame. So we'll think of something really cute to put in that. So, this little Charlie Brown guy is going to be our Goblin Core Christmas tree. I have so many ideas of how to decorate it and how to do little DIYs for it. He's a little wobbly, but I've got ideas for that too. It does actually already light up, but I have other plans for that too. And then I literally squealed when I saw this one because I've been looking for an advent calendar and this one, needs some work. There's definitely a DIY that's gonna happen for this one because uh, as you can see, I've tried taping it off to know kind of what I'm getting into time-wise on that, but they will scrape clean. So all this red stuff is gonna come off. I am gonna paint something other than silver, although I don't know what yet. Maybe add a little moss and something on it to make it cute. And then my husband is going to fill it full of Japanese candies so that, you know, it's a surprise for me and for the channel. And we'll open them up every day of Vlogmas and it'll be our very first DIY sometime soon. I don't know when exactly yet. Once I kind of figure out what exactly I'm going to do with it, probably then. But um, it was marked $8, you can see that. But I got it for half off because it was the end of whatever Christmas in July thing they were doing. So I got it for four bucks, four dollars. And I have a Cricut, so I can probably remake the little numbers with a Cricut if I want to, if I don't find anything else that I like instead. All right, one more thing I wanted to show you guys before we get to our little gemstone dig. Um, I've been having a really hard time getting my banner to cooperate with me at events because there isn't like a, 
a thing for it to attach to or anything. I've just been kind of winging it. Um, but we had the idea to drill through a table and I'll show you what I mean. So if any of you are having this same problem, maybe it'll help, I don't know. But, but I decided to make these little hooks that it just clamps down into. So I drilled into this little plastic table. It was super quick, super easy. It doesn't buckle here in the center. And this is just some wire that I already had. It's, you know, one of the things about owning a small business and running a small business I have found out is that just anything that works, works. You know, you don't have to spend tons of money to do it. All right, well, I just wanna say I really appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I promise we're getting back into the watercolors and all the other art and stuff like that. It's just, when you run a business, you got other stuff to work on too. So I really appreciate you all hanging around. Um, definitely stay tuned for whichever little gemstone I get in the, in the little digging thing um, up next. But uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.